This week's GNAC Top Plays begins at Azusa Pacific, where Zydell Reddick shined in his first start against West Texas A&M. Opening this second quarter drive, Reddick bumps, rolls, and spins for 14 yards. That moves the chains and the ball into Buffalo's territory. Reddick opened the drive, and he would end it, plowing through for the 10-yard touchdown run. 201 yards rushing for the GNAC Offensive Player of the Week as the Cougars won 17-7. In Monmouth, quarterback Ty Curry made quite the impression in his first start for Western Oregon. Potentially game tying and then winning touchdown. Over the top, it's caught by Mack. Mack trying to get to the end zone. One man to beat, he's inside the 10, he flips. He turns, he's there! Curry is going to have to go to the air, now makes the decision to run. He's got room to go, and he's got plenty of room for a first down. Moving the ball to midfield, hangs onto the ball after almost coughing it up. Ty Curry! Curry threw for 276 yards and rushed for 16 in the Wolves' 24-17 loss to Angelo State. More football later, but now to the courts, where number 15 Western Washington opened the Division II West Region Volleyball Showcase against number 9 Cal State San Bernardino. Outside hitter Abby Phelps with a double-double of 21 kills and 25 digs to help her earn a conference offensive honors. Middle blocker Kaylee Harper finished with 18 kills, but it was her 12 blocks that made her the defensive player of the week. The match went five sets, and it ended with a block by Michaela Hall and Brett Bozel as the Vikings sent the Coyotes packing. Also at the West Region Showcase, Concordia looking for the win against host Dominican. And it was the Cavaliers at the winning end of a pair of long fourth set rallies. And in both of those rallies was freshman Caitlin Brandenburg. These two of her six kills were the most important, giving the Cavaliers the fourth set win in their final match of the tournament. As the Concordia men's soccer team opened the year hosting the University of Mary. goal by McMinn. Out of control here, but the Cavs managed to advance it. Buck Miller tangled up through the feet of McCurtain to Denley, puts it home. Todd Pickett on the call. Cavaliers open the year with a 2 0 shutout of the Marauders. Western Washington off to a great men's soccer start thanks to Stephen Gentleman. This header in the 32nd minute off George Coliva's long crossing pass gave the Vikings a 1 0 shutout at Chico State. The Viking women, meanwhile, opened the 2018 season at Lovely Point Loma. And Taylor Halquist made it a lovely start for the visitors as she skims the ball off the keeper's hands on the free kick in the second minute. The Sea Lions tied the match in the 67th and forced overtime, and the scenery didn't distract Emily Nelson, who turned the loose ball into the golden goal. Western Washington 2-1 winners. St. Martin's hosted Northwest Christian, and this goal says it all for the route that the Saints posted. Shea McKnight splits the defenders, and the keeper watches the ball go into the far corner. The junior nets her second goal of the year in the 23rd minute, with the Saints lighting the beacons up 4-0. Finally on GNAC Top Plays, we return to the gridiron and a historic win for Simon Fraser against Willamette. Howard Samura with the call. Pass to the sidelines, picked off by the clan. It's picked off. He is going to go at the 20, the 10, and he will score. Simon Fraser with a interception, pick six. Another signals here. Good drop, looking down the field, has him out of game, and Nutters with the touchdown. Castaneda comes to the near sidelines, has a man. Oh, and he dropped the football. Did Simon Fraser looks like they've recovered it? Knocking on the door, fake to Nelson, rolling to his left is Richardson, finds a man, has him in the corner of the end zone for the touchdown, and that is going to be Ethan Basalt. So second in about five here. Sieber going for the touchdown in the corner of the end zone, and oh hey, I'm not sure how they're going to call, they're going to call it a touchdown. The plan snaps a 33-game losing streak with a 54-7 victory over the Bearcats. I'm Blake Tim. Thank you for watching GNAC Top Plays. We'll see you next time.